Howdy folks, Barefoot Joel with Naturals For You here in the city of Orange next to the El Medina open space along Cannon Street. And I have a very unique caterpillar that appears every year around April and May right along the native shrubbery here. And you can see that this caterpillar has these sprouting of bristly hairs coming out of its dorsal or backside. And this is what the caterpillar is named for. These look like these types of grasses that grow in the peat bogs of Scotland. They're called tussocks. This is called the Western Tussock Moth Caterpillar. And they really... Whoop, whoop. Is it okay? Oh, that was close. <laughs> Good thing it's lightweight, right? We'll let it go. As you can see, these caterpillars really like the deer broom, a native shrub that grows along this bikeway. They're nibbling away at all the fresh leaves until there are no leaves left. The plant survives because this is a short window of time from April to May that these caterpillars uh, get larger and larger and larger, eating all of the vegetation. And then they leave. They find some high point up on a rock face or on a lamp post where they spin their cocoons. Check it out. Here at this lamp post at the base, we have one of the caterpillars getting ready to climb up. Oops. There it goes back again. Up the pole it goes to a pool. Oh, it's having trouble there. As soon as it gets a grip, it's going to climb up the pole and make a cocoon. Let's see if there are others that made it to the top. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow. Here the caterpillars are using this rock face to make their cocoons. This one's already began making its cocoon. And uh, these are probably getting ready. And then you can see some finished cocoons here as well. Here's another one. So once you start looking around at these surfaces, you notice that the cocoons are everywhere. This is where it gets extra strange. The females, they don't have fully developed wings. They cannot fly. The males, on the other hand, can fly around and they will be attracted to the females via a pheromone that uh, they are giving off. Uh, once uh, they've had a chance to mate, the females will actually lay their eggs, once they've come out of the cocoon, obviously, they'll lay their eggs on the cocoon and cover it with a secretion and their bristly hairs. In, in order to protect the eggs. And then the following spring, the eggs hatch out, and the larvae, get this, they send out a silken thread, and that silken thread catches the wind, and they fly away, like in a hot air balloon, fly away to the vegetation, and the process starts all over again. Uh -huh. 